What's going on guys, Archie one and I'm back with another video here. We got some Battlefield 4 gameplay for you and some uh, Battlefield 1 news. Like I said, I'm going to bring you guys as much news as I can whenever I got some new information for y'all. And uh, something else dropped yesterday, or yesterday or the day before. Uh, I might be a couple days late on this, but that's okay. We're just getting it to you nonetheless. It's, uh, Battlefield Premium was announced and uh, there's little mixed reviews as far as what people think of it and whatnot. But I'm going to read you what's in the premium and what you get with premium as of right now. It's pretty much the same as what you got. If you uh, if you had the premium for Battlefield 4, it's basically the same. Uh, you're going to get two week early access to each expansion pack. You're going to get to play as a new as new armies like France and the Russian Empire in an upcoming expansion pack. So. Uh, people were saying you're not even going to play as the Russian army. Well, if you get the expansion pack, you're going to get to play as the Russian army. And for all you uh, all you, you feminists out there that are worried about not having female characters to play as, uh, there's a potential now. I mean, the Russian army had those 5,000 uh, 5, women brigade that didn't last very long, but they were there. So there's a potential you might actually get to play as a female character. It might be Russian, but there's it's still there. So, But you're going to get to play as the French, or French and Russian armies. Uh, 16 new multiplayer maps, which is about average, 4 maps per uh, expansion pack, which is always nice. Uh, new operations and game modes for more ways to play. Uh, new game modes. I, I couldn't even begin to exp know what kind of game modes they come up with. Every year they come up with a new different kind of game mode, and it's it, they're all they're pretty good for the most part. Uplink was a lot of fun. It was a different game mode that I'd never played before. And uh, it just depended on the team you got on. If you got on a good team, you're linking those points pretty quick. But I'm, I'm anxious to see what other kind of game modes they can come up with. And let's see what, what they got for us. Uh, new elite classes. Of course, we all know what the three elite classes were. If you watched any of the streams, they have the uh, flamethrower, uh, light machine gun, and a sniper. And they're not overpowered from what I could tell. Uh, like I said, I didn't get to play the game yet. But uh, the they, they seem to go down pretty quick. I mean, you had a little bit more health than most uh, characters do uh, but your health from what I could tell doesn't regenerate so once you take damage you keep the damage until your character's dead and then you move on uh, it's not like the uh, battlefront um, battle pickups I think they were called them I can't remember off the top of my head I'm gonna get roasted by my buddies for that but uh, where you can play as Darth Vader and whatnot and you just destroy the enemy team I mean those, those characters were borderline overpowered but um, these uh, new elite classes, they don't seem to be too overpowered. They're just kind of like a fun little thing to play with, as long as they don't over-tweak them. Uh, 20 new weapons to use. What's that? Five weapons per expansion pack. There's four expansion packs. So, you know, that's, that's pretty cool. Different types of weapons. There's always looking for new ways to entertain yourself and uh, bring a little variety to the uh, to the game. And then uh, new vehicles to operate. That'll be interesting. I'm kind of anxious to see what other kind of vehicles that they could potentially come up with. Like, they re give the recon class a uh, hot air balloon that can float straight up into the sky or something crazy, stupid like that. Or who knows? You know, there's, it, there's all kinds of different weapons. There's different things that... I didn't even know they had back in World War II or that they used back in World War II that I'm finding out um, through history watching guys like uh, Jack Frags uh, who was doing a lot of history on World War One, and it just blew my mind as the different types of uh, weapons and, and gadgets and things that they were actually using. Look at this death. I had to, I had to slow this down. I was so pissed. I, I almost died. I was, I, if I had if I'd have died, I, you probably wouldn't be watching this right now. I would have just... Ooh. Anyway, there's another one coming up here in a little bit of slow mode, and I did die during that one. It was a what the fuck moment, but anyway. So, what do you guys think about the premium? I I I don't have a problem with it, to be honest with you. I I didn't have a problem with the last premium. I know a lot of people were saying that uh, they were trying to go with um, microtransactions to pay for the new maps, so that you don't have to pay for them. And I get that whole mindset too, but I don't care for microtransactions, to be completely honest with you. I think. Uh, a lot of these weapons, and Call of Duty kind of burnt it for me too, was a lot of these weapons, I mean, they should just be added in the game. I mean, if you want us to buy an expansion pack and get, you know, um, extra maps and whatnot, that's understandable. you got to pay for them somehow. And there's the, These developers, you know, they, they, they do a lot, especially on Battlefield. These maps are huge. It takes a long time to make these maps and render them and, and play on them, make sure that the glitches are as, you know, gone as they could possibly get them. Um, it just it takes a lot of time to put in effort into putting these maps together and that's why a lot of times why like battlefield takes so long to uh, to build that's why it's a two to three year game as opposed to an every year game or every other year game like call of duty is so you know I don't seem to have a problem with the premium I think it, to me it's easier um, I don't care for microtransaction crap I think it just leads to just money grubbing by the company which 
you know, is in its own right. It's whatever. You know, if they're making the money, they're making the money. This is it's the way it is. People are buying those stupid battle. Um, I don't want to say battle packs, but I'm thinking it's the uh, the thing for Call of Duty. You know, they they just spending money like you wouldn't believe. So if it's working for them, it's working for them. That's the name of the game. You gotta you know make that money. So. Uh, but anyway, that's what I wanted to tell you guys. Just to keep you updated. It's the premium has been um, announced. So let me know what you guys think in the comments below. If you enjoyed the video, please hit that subscribe button if you haven't done so. And uh, other than that, uh, enjoy the rest of the gameplay. This was a 32 and 15, I believe, and uh, we came back to win it. So uh, see. Other than that, I'll talk to you guys later. Search you one. I am out.